Hello everybody, Quiet Atheist here. Today's video is going to be about the negative impact on society that religion has. And just to uh, emphasize my point here, I'm going to talk about a video that I watched this morning a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to offer my own personal opinion on all of, all of what transpired. In this video, this is a story about a woman that takes religion to extreme, you know, and keep in mind that I know people like this in my personal life, so I could somehow relate to what this video is talking about. Obviously, this woman throws her family to the side like it's nothing, you know. She doesn't pay attention to what they have to say. She doesn't consider for, consider the fact that they are human beings. And she doesn't care that they have feelings whatsoever period she accuses people of being witches she puts herself under the category of a warrior for god whatever the situation might be and to be honest with you guys i find this really distasteful you know i find it to be highly absurd Absurd to the point where it is getting ridiculous. And there are a lot of people like her. And it's really disturbing, nonetheless. And quite frankly, I find this way of life to be disgusting simply because family can be ripped apart for something as simple as the way one dresses or the way one thinks or if a person has an opposing position against these individuals they're immediately casted out, you know, they're immediately told that they are worthless, they'll never amount to anything, and there have been occasions where these situations have been presented in this form, like for instance, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the video series, but I definitely, definitely, excuse me, know that you guys are familiar with the Westboro Baptist Church, while there's this video series on YouTube about the Westboro Baptist Church, and a part of this video series is about a young woman who was casted out of the family because she disagreed with a few things that Fred Phelps had said. And she was immediately treated like garbage. She was mocked, ridiculed, whatever decided to transpire from these people. And naturally, when I seen this woman being interviewed, she was in so much pain. But do you think religious people would care about that? No. The problem with that is they only care about their God. They only care about what's in store for them. They don't care about atheists. They don't care about people who oppose their views. They just are simply under the umbrella of delusion. And it is a problem. The woman in the video that I'm talking about is a prime example of ignorance run amok. That's all it is. This woman is just like the Westboro Baptist Church, spewing her hate and rhetoric all over the place, not caring how it affects people. And to be honest with you guys, she is batshit crazy. She's willing to go to any lengths to get her point across or to impose her will on everybody else. And she throws morality out the window along with the kitchen sink. And it is pathetic. It really is. And religion is to blame for it. It really is. Religion has a negative influence on today's society. And it's getting worse. Especially with the atheists. You know. We are discriminated against. We are one of the most, if not the most, distrusted minority in this nation. Why? Because we simply came to a different conclusion about a God.
being involved in the grand scheme of things, so to speak, you know. So naturally, we're going to get treated like trash. A lot of the times, we are treated like trash. Constantly. Just like the people in this woman's life that are in this video. She thinks that they're diseases, that they're curses. She's paranoid. She starts screaming, yelling. Yelling all this craziness that is completely absurd. That's what religion does. To be honest with you guys, I think religion needs to basically disappear. It offers no value to it. It is morally bankrupt. And it doesn't teach you a damn thing. It doesn't teach you anything. If anything, it does teach you how to hate other people simply because of their preferences regarding having sex. Um, it teaches you, it teaches people to hate other people from other religions. It teaches people to lie, cheat, steal, offer up excuses. It teaches people to do a lot of things that one normally probably wouldn't do. And like I've said before in previous videos, I do not hate the people. I hate the religion. However, if I were to hate someone, I would hate the people that created the religion in the first place. You know what I mean? Because basically I think religion was created out of the fear of their own mortality. These camel herders were scared of their own death. So naturally they create something to make them feel a little bit more comfortable. And it's gone to the point where they live to die. They live for a reward. That's all they care about. All they care about is getting to that heaven. And there's no heaven. But do you think they care? No, they don't. They don't care how they treat people. They don't care. If they discriminate, discriminate against others, they never have and they never will care about humanity in general. And that is a problem. Religion is somehow having this position where what they do, say, or think is totally awesome. When in fact, in all actuality, nothing they do or say is awesome. All of it is nonsense, cruelty, unnecessary behavior. But they don't acknowledge it. It's like stepping in a fucking pile of dog shit and refusing to wipe it off. When in all actuality, their reality stinks, but they won't wipe it off. They rather live under the assumption that there is a God. They rather base their whole life around this fairy tale and totally show a lack of regard towards others. It is pathetic, unnecessary, and immoral. And like in this video about this woman, a family is being ripped apart because of the ignorance of religion and the effect it has on the people around her. Now, obviously, like I said, she don't care. Religion is a cancer that is feeding off of society like a runaway hungry dog eating a fucking pile of food in the ground. It is insulting to see this happening every day. And I hate it. I really do. It is unnecessary to have this kind of thing influencing your life. 
having a negative impact on family. The ones that you're supposed to care about the most. Now, sadly, that's not the case. In religion's eyes, you're supposed to love God first. That means all your family gets second best status, so to speak. And that oftentimes they get thrown in the garbage. And it's wrong. Things like this need to be identified. The religious need to have their priorities straight. But they will never have them straight. Because simply, like I said, they'd rather believe in a fairy tale than love their own families. And it's disgusting. And that's the way that I see it, you know. Religion is the problem. And once people realize this, I think they will be a lot better off. I think that they'll start to learn how to treat people, actually love people, love human beings, and pay attention to them. Rather than discarding them off and treating them like trash and trying to uh, devalue them and mock them and ridicule them. Because in all actuality, the religious are a bunch of hypocrites, you know. And it and it's it's a problem, and that's how I feel about the subject. Because human life is valuable. My personal view is this: okay, we hold the keys to all the doors in this universe. It is up to us to open these doors and explore new ideas. Explore new outcomes. Explore new truths. And then have the knowledge to sit there and really enjoy something that is honest. Like I said, we hold the keys to everything. We are responsible for everything that we do or say in today's society. And that's the way that it is. I love everybody. I like talking to people. I don't treat people like shit. And that's the big difference between me and a religious person. I actually value what people have to say. My wife is Catholic. And I'm an atheist. But the thing about my wife is, she supports me in everything I do since I first started doing this. And she doesn't treat me like shit. She supports me even though she disagrees with me. But I support her. Whatever she wants to do, she can do it. I don't call her worthless. I don't call her this. I don't call her that. I don't, you know. And that's what this religious woman does in this video. Everyone is worthless in her eyes. And if people want to believe in a fairy tale, they're going to waste their lives searching for something. You know what I mean? It is like a blind man in a dark room looking for a black cat that isn't there. Or it's like them walking into a round room and trying to find a corner. It isn't going to happen. Plain and simple. But they like to believe in the scenario where the tail can wipe the dog, so to speak. When in all actuality, it is impossible. Their way of life is incredibly atrocious. And that's the way I feel about it. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And remember, if you can't be good, be good at it.